Welcome everyone to a tutorial where I'm going to show you how to generate random passwords. Now if you're the sort of person that's not very good at coming up with passwords on your own, this can help you out. So um, if you click the button, it's going to give you an 8 character long password that's completely randomly generated. So I'll show you how this works, it's really simple. So we have a, a list of characters, well actually an array, that you can choose from. And so the passwords will be composed of all these different symbols. If you want to add more, for instance, capitalized um, letters, you can do like this, capitalize it, and do it like that, and then that will also be able to be added in. So I can go here now, and there you go. You can see right here, that's added in now as a possibility. And there it is again. So anyways, so I'll show you how this works. First, we have a random function. We're going to call that r and then we have a string to store the password that we generate. Here's where the password gets generated and here's where it's added to the text box for you to see. Now, um, plus equals is basically gonna attach, like it's gonna take what's in here and it's also gonna add the next character onto it, which is taken from here. So we reference characters, which is this array here, and the position inside that array is a random number between zero and the length of that array which here currently is like 37 or something 26 plus 10 plus 1 so yeah 37 and then here is the length so 8 so like if we want 12 character password um, just do that and it'll be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 characters so yeah um, it's pretty simple I just thought I would show this off because I don't think I've done anything on my channel regarding random numbers other than when I use it in building something else but this is just for exclusively generating random stuff so um, I hope this simplifies things or if you're interested in that sort of thing or maybe it'd be a useful tool to you if you uh, need to create passwords that are not generic or whatever um, so yeah if you like this tutorial, go ahead and give it a like, and if you have any questions on it, leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to see a tutorial, like uh, you want to know how to program something, just leave that below also, and it's likely that I'll do it. So yeah, um, see everyone later, so bye.